Whether you work hard or work smart for your money, once you have it, there are clear signs whether you're smart with it or not. One thing harder to do than make money is to hold on to it. We're going to take a look into 15 signs that you're smart with money. But before we get going, don't forget to like and subscribe to Alux for even more content made with future billionaires in mind. This probably is exactly why you're here, and that ties me perfectly to our first point. Number 1. You know what you know and what you don't. People who are smart with money don't pretend to know everything and seek advice from experts. That means finding a trustworthy financial advisor. On top of that, there's so much great stuff out there that you can read and watch to get great financial knowledge on topics that confuse you. Alux is one of those sources of great advice, which is proof that you're already smart with money. So support us and our channel and like and subscribe so we can continue producing high quality content for you. Number two, if it ain't broke, you don't replace it. People who are smart with money only spend it when they need to. They don't replace a TV if their current one is still doing the job. The same for cars, sports gear, or tech. And while it's always nice to splurge and spoil yourself with something new, people who are smart with money show that they aren't on a never-ending quest to always have the latest and greatest and accept that there will always be upgrades and improved versions of things. This is also a common trait of old money, too. See what else links you to the blue bloods in our video on the topic. 15 things that scream old money. Number 3. You have a budget. If you ask around, most adults have a rough budget, but when it comes to how much they actually stick to it, the numbers seem to drop. It's one thing to have a budget, but people smart with money stick to it. This way, they're reminded what their end goals are, which helps them keep on track when the temptation to spend arises. In an Insider article, Tamara Durvin, a Chicago-based personal finance coach and certified financial educator, said that it's important to know exactly how much money you make and where it all goes each month. And we tend to agree. Number 4. You have the end in mind. While a quick spend or a car upgrade is tempting, people who are smart with money have a great end goal in mind. Perhaps it's to be able to retire by a certain age or become financially independent from your employer. Whatever it is, if you're always looking to your big goals instead of giving in to the impulse purchases, then you're showing signs of having money smarts. But is there a golden rule to end all of your money woes? Yep, there is. Keep listening because it's coming up. Number 5. You buy luxury with money you have. They say rather the devil you know than the devil you don't. Well, the same can be said for money. Rather spend the money you have than the money you don't. Those who are smart with money make sure they aren't enjoying a luxury lifestyle on credit that they don't possess. Not only is it really expensive, it's also a dangerous game to play. Before you know it, you'll be enjoying the view from the sidewalk while sitting on that couch you bought on credit that you couldn't afford. The highest interest is paid on short-term loans, like retail, credit deals, and credit cards. Smart money knows this and to avoid it. But not all credit is bad. Which brings us to number six. You leverage credit wisely. Smart Money knows there's plenty of opportunity to grow your wealth through credit, but this is in very particular circumstances where the item you're buying on credit continues to gain value that exceeds the interest you're paying on it. This is usually the case when it comes to buying property or businesses. Number 7. You don't pay unnecessary bank fees. Bank fees are nearly impossible to avoid altogether, but there are plenty that you should never have to pay. With a little smarts, you won't have to pay exorbitant bounced payment fees, late fees, or short-term interest. Understand the banking products you have. Make use of the free transactions, like online payments, or setting up debit orders instead of doing an EFT. Check to see the bank perks that you get are worth it. Some of the time, you're being charged a monthly fee that far exceeds the benefits you're receiving. Number 8. You shop for necessities with a plan. 
You know we love a list. Lists mean you have a plan, and failing to have a plan means planning to fail. When you shop for a home or business, it's always wise to shop with a list that has your budget in mind. It's easy to get caught up in the frenzied spending in shops or online stores. They are literally designed to cause this. Having a list means you won't be waylaid or end up with armfuls of non-essentials and nothing that you actually need. And hey, Luxers, the younger you start learning about money, the better, which is why we suggest you listen to Smart Money, Smart Kids, Raising the Next Generation to Win with Money by Dave Ramsey and Rachel Cruz. It's available on Audible, and we've got a free download for you at alux.com slash free book. It's received over 4,000 five-star ratings. Number nine, you have insurance. Accidents happen, but people who are smart with money don't get bothered by this. Their monthly contribution to short-term insurance ensures they have peace of mind that their property, both personal and business, is insured against loss or damage. That way, in unforeseen circumstances of loss, they're covered. It's one way of predicting future financial longevity instead of having to constantly maintain a huge backup bank balance just to keep you safe. Number 10 you have an emergency saving fund. People who are smart with money have nerves of steel because they're able to maintain an emergency savings fund. This is a feat of strength like no other on the planet. Having money available and not spending it and continuing to add to it is a real life superpower. If you're finding it hard to start, then take a tip from us automate your savings, even if it's a small amount at first. Set up a monthly or weekly transfer into a savings account so that you don't have to have the personal strength it takes to make the payment yourself. Once you see that savings balance grow, the payoff becomes clearer and you'll find it a lot easier to increase that amount. Number 11. You protect your salary. Smart people don't rely on their employer for security. They take their financial security into their own hands. This is done with a salary protection policy. Whether it's an add-on benefit to your banking or through a financial insurance broker, adding a salary protection policy is essential to upping your financial IQ. Anything could happen. COVID-19 is a great reminder of this. So ensure you protect your monthly income while you give yourself some time to find some new income. Number 12. You know your credit score and are keeping it in check. People who are good with money know that a credit score is key to building wealth. If you're leveling up your wealth through business or property, you will require loans. Your credit score is standing between you and getting financed to access great opportunities. So be sure you always know where your credit report stands and how you can keep it looking good. Ensuring payments don't bounce. Service your credit card and overdraft regularly and keep away from subscriptions that you can't afford will all mean keeping a positive rating. Number 13. You don't double dip with debits. A quick way to lower your credit score is to let payments bounce. People who are smart with money know what payments come off and when and ensure there's always money in the account for them. But this can get confusing and out of hand fast if you have too many. Don't sign up for subscriptions or debit orders just because your credit allows it. Do you really need the product your bank or internet provider is trying to add on to your monthly premium? Probably not, so don't let their limited time offer sales pitch throw you off your end goal. Number 14. Don't pay more taxes than you need to. People who are smart with money are smart with taxes. They know that it's not necessary to know all the ins and outs of tax codes, but rather keep good records and employ the help of a qualified tax practitioner. They will manage your money to maximize tax benefits and savings. People who are smart with money ensure they have a tax practitioner who's up to date with the latest laws and that are paying just the right amount of tax. Not too much, but not too little either to avoid any nasty surprises. Number 15. Shop around to get a good deal. No matter how much money you have, there's no shame in shopping around to ensure you're paying the right price. No matter what you're getting, from a home loan to a new geyser, don't feel intimidated into taking the first quote you get. People who are smart with money will shop around for the best deal because geysers and home loans will be with you for a long time. So Aluxers, you hung around with us until the end, here's your bonus. 
What's the golden goose of people who are smart with money? Well, it's really simple. Get paid what you're worth and spend less than you earn. There it is. That's the best financial advice you could ever hear. It's layers on layers. And on that note, we say goodbye until tomorrow. We would appreciate it immensely if you subscribed and clicked on the bell notification if you felt like this video added value to your life as you do to ours.